and Mika, are they major prophets? No. They are minor, minor prophet. prophets. Okay. So we have Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, yes, Amy. Daniel. Daniel. There are four major prophets, so though sometimes we put lamentation as a major prophet, but we consider the four, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. So from these major prophets and some minor prophets, which you mentioned some like Mika, Ezekiel, I mean, Zachariah, Haga, Nahum, Habakkuk, Hosea, okay, Jonah, those are minor prophets, okay? So from some, as we enter into the New Testament, as we shall be discussing in the, the birth of Jesus, the beginnings, the young, the tender life of Jesus, we shall also look at some of the prophecies from the major prophets and minor prophets. Are we together? I'm only trying to bring our heads together so that we can be able to start our lesson. Okay? Yes. Now, we shall start our lesson. We are going to look at... We are going to look at the... New Testament. We have to start with the New Testament. Okay. In the books of the New Testament, or we look at the themes of the New Testament, in this session we are going to look at how God reveals himself to the world, and in revealing himself, we shall look at the birth of Jesus, his life, his teaching, work, suffering, death, and resurrection. And before we do that, before we enter into the life of Jesus Christ, we shall look at the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth, and we shall look at the birth and the teachings of John the Baptist. We shall look also on Jesus' early life, how the Annunciation, how he was born, the, any challenges he, that he had during his early life, and then how he was presented in the temple, and how he participated the Passover with the parents. Then we shall look at some of the Jewish cultural practices during the time of Jesus, especially in the early life, like the dedication and circumcision. We shall also look at the baptism of Jesus, if time allows us, the temptations of Jesus, the transfiguration, his teaching ministry, and then the suffering, and so forth. Okay? Are we together? Yes. Yes. So we are going to start with the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth. Yes. Yes. So in the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth, do you know these two people? Yes. Who are they? The parents of John the Baptist. The parents of John the Baptist. John the Baptist. So we know that these two people, Zachariah and Elizabeth, were the parents of John the Baptist. 
so we know that Zachariah, when he received the information about the annunciation, the birth of John the Baptist, where was he? The temple. The temple. He was at the temple. He was burning incense because it was his time to go and burn incense. And when you read in the book of Luke chapter 1, you'll be able to see that it was the time now. It was his chance to go and offer incense in the Holy of Holies, only where the priest was supposed to enter. No other person. So while he was offering, he was burning incense. That is the time the angel appeared to him and told him about the birth of John the Baptist. Are we together? We remember yes, that yes. Uh, Elizabeth could not be able to give birth because she was barren. Elizabeth was barren. And she could not be able to give birth. And when the news was given to John the Baptist, because also of their age, he could not believe. He doubted the angel's message. So, uh, John the ba I mean Zachariah was performing an atonement prayer on behalf of the Israelites. An atonement prayer, a pleading prayer on behalf of the Israelites. Then we are told that in the Bible, he got the message from angel Gabriel. Are you taking some notes? Yes. Okay. Yes. When I'm fast, you tell me. Zachariah became jam folded because he did not believe the angel message. We said that he could not believe because we shall see the reasons why he doubted the angel's message. He became dumb and he could only give signs, okay? The angel gave him the instruction of the baby to be born. And the baby to be born was John. So Zachariah wrote down the child's name when he was born and wrote the name as John. What is the meaning of the word John? Who can try? Who can try? Who can try? What is the meaning of the word John? John? John means a forerunner. A forerunner. Because he's coming before the birth of the Messiah. Are we together up to there? Yes. Have said yes. Zachariah and Elizabeth were the parents of John the Baptist. Okay? Yes. Then the angel of the Lord, Angel Gabriel, appeared to Zachariah while he was burning incense in the temple. And he was burning incense, making a prayer of atonement for the people of Israel, that God would hear their prayers. Remember, they were crying to have the Messiah. They kept on for many years, waiting for the Messiah to be born. So he was there in the temple, offering an atonement prayer. Then, as the angel told him about the birth of John the Baptist, he doubted. And of the doubt, he got dumb. He could not speak again because of the doubt. So when John was born, he could only write on a signboard to say his name. Are we together up to there? Yes. Okay, so we continue. He said, John, Zachariah doubted. So we want to see the reasons why Zachariah doubted about the message of the angel. The reasons why Zachariah doubted about the message of the angel. The reasons why Zachariah doubted about the message of the angel. One, as I shared there earlier, we said that Elizabeth was barren. 
Barren. No hope of having a child. She was barren. When you are barren, you can't give birth. So Elizabeth was barren. Number two, both of them were too old and had lost hope of getting a child. They were too old. Maybe they were above 70 or 80 there. They were too old to get a child. So they had lost hope. Number three, Zechariah did not understand the power of God. He did not understand the power of God. Let's look at the instruction given by Angel Gabriel on John the Baptist birth. One is, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. As we read in the book of Luke, we see that the child will be filled with the Holy Spirit. That is in Luke chapter 1. If you have your Bible, you read it later. Luke chapter 1, verses 5 to 23. There you can read about the story of the birth, the annunciation of John the Baptist. Okay? You see the yes. annunciation, and then you'd be able to see the instructions that were given to Zachariah by the angel. So, number two, he was not to drink, nor drinking of any wine. The mother was not to take any wine. Number three, he would be a Nazarene. A Nazarene means that he would not shave his hair. Would not yes. shave his hair. A Nazarene. He would not shave his hair. Number four, he would be a forerunner. And you have said a forerunner. He would come before the Messiah. So the forerunner. A herald. Come before the Messiah. He will be a forerunner. And then we know John the Baptist fed on honey and locust. He stayed in the desert. He would feed on honey and locust. That was his meal. We eat gideri bread and all that, but his meal was honey and locust. <coughs> then he dressed, he would dress in camel skin. Uh -huh. Something else about the John the Baptist is that you be fearless. You will not fear anybody. And as we know in the story of John the Baptist, during the time of King Herod, he never he feared to uh, announce or tell them or demolish them of their ill, of his illness or his mistakes of getting involved with the wife of his brother. Herodias. And then he'll be great in God's eyes. Remember John the Baptist was the last prophet, was the among the last prophets in the New Testament. Are we there? Yes. Yes. So far, are we together? Yes. Okay. We move on. So we look now at John the Baptist. You have mentioned so much about John the Baptist. The parents of John the Baptist were Zachariah and Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. And we have said that John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus Christ, who was the Messiah. Let's look at the main messages of John the Baptist. The main messages of John the Baptist. The main messages of John the Baptist. One, he preached on repentance. Remember, he was there on River Jordan and he was calling people to repent, repent, go back to the Lord. Number two was forgiveness. Forgiveness. Where are people to get forgiveness from? God. Forgiveness. Three, he was to prepare the way for the Messiah. 
So you remember when you read again in Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3, we see him uh, preaching and calling people to prepare the way for the Messiah. He's preparing the way for the Messiah. So those who are joining us, we are in the New Testament. We are talking or we are discussing about John the Baptist. We have briefly seen the parents of John the Baptist. And you say the parents of John the Baptist were? Zachariah and Elizabeth. Zachariah and Elizabeth. And, uh, we have briefly seen why, why Zachariah and Elizabeth could not believe the word of the angel. We have said that because Elizabeth was barren, both of them were too old, and also Zachariah could not believe the word of God. He could not see it happening. Yes. Michelle? You're okay? Yes. Okay, we continue, Basi. So let's see the main reason. We have seen the main reason or the main messages that John uh, preached during his time, which was repentance, forgiveness, and preparing the way for the Messiah. Now, John baptized people, but he did not baptize as Jesus did. He baptized people using water. When John the Baptist saw Jesus coming to him, he called him the Lamb of God. He said, Be God. God. the Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. That you'd be able to find it in the book of Luke again. So during the baptism of Jesus, briefly, Luke chapter 3, verse 21. In the book of John, chapter 1, he says, Behold the Lamb of God. John, chapter 1, verses. Can read there in 29, verse 29, going on. You'll be able to see him uh, pointing at Jesus as the Lamb of God. So John the Baptist saw Jesus coming to him. He called him the Lamb of God because he was going to act as a sacrificial lamb. The events that took place during the birth of John the Baptist. There are many things that happened during the time of John the Baptist. One, Zachariah wrote the name of John. The event that took place during the birth, not his lifetime, during the birth when he was born. Zachariah, since he could not be able to speak, he wrote down the name of John. Number two, Zachariah, after writing the name, he was able to talk. So he began talking. Number three, he dedicated the baby to God in the temple. He dedicated John in the temple. Remember, this was a custom and a tradition of the Israelites to dedicate their firstborn sons or firstborn children to God. Pardon? Where are you lost? Adasha? No, number two. Number two? Number three. Number three? Uh, yes. Zakaria dedicated the baby to God in the temple. Dedicated the baby to God in the temple. People rejoiced. Number four, people rejoiced. When he was born, People gathered in their home, and so they wanted to see the wonder of God. And so they rejoiced when John was born to these barren parents, those old parents. They rejoiced. Number five, people puzzled and were surprised. They were puzzled or surprised 
on the birth of Jesus because it was a wonder. How could old people give birth to a child? How could a barren person give birth? So they were all surprised at the birth of John the Baptist. Number six, John, as a tradition, was circumcised after eight days. It was a tradition among the Israelites. So therefore, he must have been circumcised after eight days. That was after week on the eighth day. The others are thanksgiving, blessings, and also given the name by the angel. And we are talking about angel Gabriel. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. If you have any question you ask, okay? Regarding to what we are discussing. Okay, let's continue then. Do you remember also during the ministry of John the Baptist, he spoke to different people. Yeah? He talked to different people. In the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew and Luke, he shows us to the people he addressed to. There is a message he addressed to people, there is a message he addressed to the soldiers. And there is a message he addressed to tax collector. So let's see at the message that he addressed to the people. And we find this story in the book of Luke, chapter 3, from verse 10. Chapter 3, verse 10. To the people, the messages of John the Baptist to he talked to three groups of people. One is all people, and the message he gave them was repentance and forgiveness. They asked in verse 10, it's verse 11, it says, whoever has two shirts must give one to the man who has none, and whoever has food must share it. So remember to all the people in general, he called them to repentance. He called them to forgiveness. And maybe you can also add, he called them to be charitable, to be able to share with others what they have. So you can add that one, number three. For soldiers. Pardon. Where are you lost? <laughs> number three. Number three, I've said, he called people to be charitable, to share with those who do not have. Thank you. That in Luke chapter 3, verse 11. Luke chapter 3, verse 11. Number two, to soldiers. To soldiers, that is in Luke chapter 3, verse 14, he told them not to accept bribes not to accept bribes and not to accuse anyone falsely. He said, in these words they are said, do not take money from anyone by force or accuse anyone falsely. Be contented with your pay. Remember, questions can come from a quotation from the Bible trying to ask you, who said these words? So you, after the lesson, you must get time to read the Bible. That's why I'm giving you the Bible verses to read. Number three, tax collectors. Talk to the tax collectors. And to the tax collectors, the message he gave them was, take only what is enough. Take only what is enough. And that is in Luke chapter three, Verses 12. He said in verse 13, don't collect more than is legal. So they were only to take what was required to be collected from people. 
Cukup salah? Yes. Okay. To somebody here. Okay. Okay. To understand the reasons why John the Baptist was killed. When the Baptist did not die a normal death, he was killed. Who killed him? Hmm? Any? Yeah? Okay. We remember there was a king we are talking about, Herod. So Herod had a party for the daughter because she was celebrating the birthday. So Herod's daughter demanded for his head as a reward. Remember the father told, him, told her, if you dance, I'll give you anything that you ask. And so she danced, so she pleased the visitors and everybody was happy. And so she went to the dad, Herod, and asked, now give me, you said I demand anything, even if it is half of your wealth. We are running out of time. We only have 10 minutes, so I rush a little bit. So, Herod's daughter demanded for his word, his head as a reward. Number two, uh, but John the Baptist was killed because he pointed also at Herod's sin. Remember, he committed adultery with his brother's wife, Herodias. Number three was the main reason when John the Baptist was put in prison was to, to point, he pointed out Herod's sin. He always pointed out Herod's sin. So as we are coming up to wind up the, the about John the Baptist, I'm sure you have got something, Cindy. Yes. You can be able to recall now while we started the story of John the Baptist and how he was born, how he worked. His main work was to call people to repentance and preparing the way for the Messiah by calling people to repentance. He called people to repentance. And then he talked to three different types of each group, he gave them their message. But remember, Herod was not happy because he kept on criticizing. He was being criticized all the time by John the Baptist. And so, through the order of the daughter, the daughter of Herodias, she demanded for the head of John the Baptist. Two, uh, John the Baptist kept on criticizing Herod because of his sin of adultery. And number three, I've said he kept on, apart from that, he kept on criticizing Herod for the sins that he committed. And that led to him being killed. Any question? I'm remaining with about two or three minutes now. Any question? Mkosawa? Yes. Mkosawa? Kwa hivyo tuneza guzi? Yes. Aya. Kwa hivyo, in the next, in the next question, I'm talking about John the Baptist because I don't want to start the story of John of the birth of Jesus. You have said you read and you take the Bible, you read. If you need to pass the examination, you need to read, 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 read the Bible. You read John, the book of Luke, chapter 3, New Testament. You read about chapter 3, you read about the story of John the Baptist. Uh, briefly, in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, you see the preaching of John the Baptist, what he preached. 
these are areas that can be examined. Again, you can also get the same version in the book of Mark. In Mark chapter 1, you see about the preaching of John the Baptist. And then in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, chapter 1, as from verse 20, you'll be able also to see John the Baptist. Okay? Sawa? Yes. Amna. Amna. You are Lisa Bassi. Emily. How happy Emily? So Santa Lisa individuals. Emily. What was the main work of John the Baptist? Yes. Anybody to help her? Yes. Welcome. The message of repentance and forgiveness. Repentance and forgiveness. Forgive. Why was John the Baptist killed? What led to his death? Yes. Onam to moja tu ako Yes, precious. Precious, I can't hear you, Precious. May you mute? Brittany? He pointed out Herod's sin. Yes, good. He pointed Herod's sin. Who announced the birth of John the Baptist? Yes, Veran. Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel. We have seen also that the parents doubted. Why did Zachariah doubt the birth of John the Baptist? Yes, Amy. Elizabeth Barry. Hadasha. There were two good. We we said three reasons. We said that one, Elizabeth was barren. We also said that yes, and me. Zakaria did not believe the power. Yes. Michelle? Michelle? Because Zakaria did not understand the power of God. He did not understand the power of God. You are a bright class. This is wonderful. I like your class and your active participation. Now, time is up. Okay. For the next two minutes, we can briefly look at the birth of Jesus. So after John was over, we know that they were born almost the same time with Jesus. And as we have seen that the angel Gabriel announced the birth to Zachariah, the same angel announced the birth of Jesus to Mary, a young girl called Mary. And Mary was at home, wherever she was, she was just at home, a young girl. She, he announced the birth of Jesus. And as we shall see the birth of Jesus, we shall see some similarities, some two common things about the birth of John the Baptist and the birth of John. The birth of Jesus and the birth of John. So on the birth of Jesus, briefly, just before I move to go. The birth of Jesus took place in the town of Bethlehem, as it was prophesied by prophet. Mika. Prophet Mika in Mika chapter 5, verse 2. 
I'm giving you these, these references. When they saw Mesiku Katu, Jesus grew up in the town of Nazareth and prophesied, uh, and as it was prophesied by prophet Isaiah. Remember, prophet Isaiah said, and he will be a Nazareth. He, later we see the crucifixion of Jesus, which took place in the town of Jerusalem. Golgotha, that place, Golgotha, the hill where Jesus was crucified, but it was in the town of Jerusalem. In the book of Isaiah, it talks of about the birth he was born of a virgin, Mary. And we'll see the work of Joseph, the husband of Mary, which was a, a carpenter. So in Bethlehem, it was the birth of Jesus. In Nazareth, he grew up. In Jerusalem, he died, was crucified, and it was still in the same time he resurrected. And then in Bethany, Jesus ascended there. Now since, so after that, we shall look.